yeah. I'll be here next week for sure. And then my Peru retreat is kind of hanging in the balance. Peru is having a lot of civil unrest. You think don't go. So, so yeah, so we may, I may end up having to reschedule that it seems. So I may just be here. So we'll see. I'll let you know for sure by next week though. Um, yeah. Any questions, comments, concerns, requests? All right, well, let's just practice. So comfortable seat to get started. If you want to, you can wiggle around a little bit, just kind of get some physical feedback. Maybe roll your head around a couple of times, feel into your neck, maybe roll your shoulders out. And eventually when you are ready, just find stillness. So your seated meditation. Mm, rest your hands somewhere intentionally. So on your lap is fine. Palms face down for a little more grounding. Palms face up for a little more openness, receptivity. If you want to bring one hand to your heart space, one hand to your belly, or both hands to your heart, perfect. And close your eyes. And see if you can just give yourself these first couple of minutes to simply just be. So not doing anything, not even anticipating what comes next, but just sitting and noticing how you feel inside. So tune in, how does your body feel physically? How does your body feel energetically? And how do you feel emotionally? Are there any emotions present for you this morning? Maybe there's a lot, maybe there's not much. We're not trying to change or fix or control. We're just simply noticing, paying more attention, becoming more aware. Notice if there are any places where you're holding tension, where you're tensing up or resisting. And just by noticing, maybe you start to soften a little bit. Notice your breath. And next time you inhale, fill up as big as you can. When you think you are full, see if you can even sip in just a little bit more at the top. Open your mouth, a big sigh, let it go. Good. Do that a couple more times. So great big inhale, fill up. Take a moment to pause in fullness. Feel this breath inside of you. Let it circulate around. And then, yeah, open your mouth, let it go, sigh it out. Ah. One more time. Make this the biggest inhale you've taken all morning long. Breathe into every little space. And then when you're ready, big sigh, release, let it go. Ah. Seal your lips. And start to drop into your ujjayi breath. So in and out through your nose by way of the back of your throat. So see if you can start to create that gentle whisper noise with your breath, that oceanic sound. So yes, your breath is coming through your nose, but you really hear it and feel it as it moves through your throat. And it's coming all the way down from your diaphragm. So you feel your belly expand every time you inhale. And you feel everything contract and let go with each exhale. At the very bottom of your exhale, see if you can find what we call Uddiyana Bandha. So navel to spine connection. Your belly button pulls back as you find emptiness. So stay right here for as long as you want. Just feeling into your breath feeling into your own internal rhythm, your own cadence. When you feel ready to move, if you want to start from your seat, moving through your upper body or your arms, feel free. Great place to begin. And then eventually, no rush whatsoever, but eventually come forward to hands and knees and start to move intuitively from there. So most of you guys are familiar, just intuitive movement from hands and knees. It can look a million different ways. Maybe it's just simple cat cows. Maybe it's big circles with your hips. 
Maybe it's sitting back into a child's pose and just taking a moment to rest there and breathe there. You can walk your hands to one side and then the other. So anything goes, it's your own exploration of your own body this morning. Feel free to keep your eyes closed if that helps to get out of your mind. So this is not an exercise that we think our way through. We don't have to look around and see how everybody else looks. You don't have to worry if you're doing it right. Just feel from the inside, use your felt senses. So if you put your awareness in your spine, what's there? What can you notice? If you put your awareness in your hips or your shoulders or even your hands, your fingers, forearms, just feeling into yourself, your inner world, your inner space. No judgment, but just observation. Notice what feels really good and notice what feels really tight, really uncomfortable, maybe stiff or sore, tender. Give yourself three to five more rounds, exploring your own movement in your own way. And then eventually downward facing dog is where we will end up. So you can start your transition back to down dog in your own time, in your own way. Good, everyone. Once you're back in your dog pose, keep feeling around. Notice and observe. Maybe pedal out your heels. Maybe shift your hips side to side. Maybe give your head a shake or a nod. Might feel nice to take your feet out really wide, even to the width of your mat. Transfer your weight on the diagonal. So if you press into your right hand, press back through your left heel, shift your hips over to the left. You'll feel that really nice stretch down the back of your left leg. And you can even switch it up. Yeah. Beautiful poses. So even if you've been in down dog hundreds, thousands of times before, how does it feel right now? How does it feel in this moment in your body? Can you feel your breath expanding and contracting, rising and falling? Can you use your breath to support you? So each inhale feels like you get a little lighter, a little more buoyant. Each exhale, you connect back to your center, navel to spine. You feel, I always talk about, there's an invisible rope attached to your belly button. It's pulling up. It's tugging towards the top corner of the back wall. So you feel that lift that comes from your center. Very nice poses, everybody. Take one more big inhale into your down dog. And then as you exhale, look to the top of your mat and however you want to get there, forward fold. Pause for a moment in your fold. Anything goes. So maybe a rag doll, maybe hands behind your head, interlace your fingers at the base of your skull, give the back of your neck some traction. You might sway or bob or bounce. See if you can notice, where do you hold the weight in your feet? And if you are rocking back into your heels, keep your weight just slightly forward, more in the balls of your feet, pads of your toes, and then focus on lifting your butt, lifting your sit bones towards the sky, let the crown of your head reach towards the ground, let your head be heavy. Take one more full round of breath in your fold. With your next inhale, find a halfway lift position. So spine nice and long, get all the rounding out of your back, stick your butt out. Exhale, fold and release. Do that again, inhale, halfway lift. So crown of your head reaches forward, tops of your thighs press back, sit bones broaden. Exhale, fold, let it go. This time, as you inhale, come through your halfway lift and keep rising all the way up. Take your arms to the sky. And hands to heart center as you exhale. Flow with your breath for just a moment. Inhale, high mountain, stretch tall. 
swan dive down. So lead with your heart, lengthen your spine, then let it all go. As you breathe in, find your halfway lift position, Ardha Uttanasana. So feel into the length and strength in your back body. Your back muscles hug around your spine. Exhale, fold all the way to empty in your breath. And then press into your feet. Lead with your heart. Reverse swan dive all the way to stand. Arms to the sky. Hands to heart center as you exhale. One more round like that. High mountain. Inhale. Slow swan dive down as you breathe out. Follow your breath. Let it guide you. Nice, Laura. As you inhale, lift halfway. Go into all that length. Press back through your thighs, broaden your sit bones. Exhale, fold, empty out. Fine, navel to spine connection. And from that place, rise. Inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale, hands to your heart. All right, this time, inhale, arms reach up. And as you exhale, hands behind your back, interlace your fingers. So open through the fronts of your shoulders. Roll your shoulders back and down. Shoulder blades squeeze your spine. And if you want a little more intensity, bend your elbows, press your palms together. Imagine your elbows are magnetized. Try to squeeze them closer. And then at the same time, imagine your fingers are super glued together and you're trying to pull them apart. So you should feel a lot of what's called muscle energy in your arms. See if you can reach your hands back and then maybe even take your heart towards the sky as you reach your knuckles towards the ground behind you. So really puff up through your chest. Press your hips gently forward, but hug in with your inner thighs like you're squeezing a block. Take one more big inhale. Keep your clasp, hinge at your hips, exhale all the way down, forward fold. So take a moment with your fingers interlaced in your fold, maybe a couple breaths. You can take your feet out wider if that feels better. You can bend your knees more. Let your head be heavy, let your neck relax. You might shake yes or no. See if you can lift higher through your sit bones, through your butt. And then reach your knuckles higher. If you're pressing your palms and that feels like too much, you can let that part go. Take one more big, huge inhale. Feel that opening in the front of your shoulders. Exhale, hands to your low back, then release your clasp. Let your arms hang down. You can give them a gentle shake out if you'd like. Next time you breathe in, find your halfway lift position. Exhale, fold, plant your hands, step your feet back, plank pose. So top of a push-up, spread your fingers really wide and push the ground away. Take an inhale into your plank, and then as you exhale, just lift your hips and press them back, down dog. That invisible rope pulls up and tugs back. Inhale, come forward again, high plank. So if you can come way forward onto your tippy tippy toes, push the ground away. And then exhale, down dog, stretch it out, take it back. Beautiful, inhale, rock forward, high plank. We'll add a push up, exhale, lower halfway down. Hold until you're empty in your breath. Inhale, push back up, high plank. Yes, awesome, Claire. Exhale, downward facing dog. This time, inhale, come forward. And exhale, slow as you can, all the way to your belly. One strong, straight line. Nice, you see? Spider-Man Cobra. So bring your hands out nice and wide to frame your yoga mat. Fingertips on the ground, elbows face the sky. Inhale, lift your heart. And then as you exhale, twist to your right side. Dip your left shoulder down a little bit. Inhale, come back to center. Lift your heart. Little tone in your belly. Press through your pelvis. Exhale, other side, twist. So right shoulder dips down, nice, Jen. Inhale, back to center. Go ahead and take one more each direction with your own breath, at your own pace. Feel into your shoulders, feel into your front body, back body, side bodies, lower body. Eventually an inhale will bring you back to center. If it feels good, you can hold a little longer, couple breaths. 
downward facing dog, however you want to transition, just do it intentionally. Once you're back in your down dog, again, we've got about five rounds of breath. So any little bits and pieces of exploration, movement, maybe you want to find stillness on the outside, but inside there's so much going on. There's little tiny micro movements, little tiny micro adjustments you can make. If you want, you can even turn this into a turbo dog. So if you want a little more strength work, bend your elbows and squeeze your elbows in towards each other. It's almost like a dolphin, but your forearms are hovering just an inch or so above the ground. Nice, Paul. Keep lifting your hips. So feel that connection to the center. Stay soft through your face, soft through your outer body, through your outer shell. Feel your breath flowing through you, every little space. Take one more huge inhale. Maybe lift your hips a little higher, lengthen through your side bodies a little more. And then exhale, look forward, step, tiptoe, or hop, top of your space, forward fold. Halfway lift, breathe in, lengthen out. Keep the back of your neck long, so gaze down rather than forward. Exhale, fold, release. Root through your feet, lead with your heart, rise up. Inhale, take your arms to the sky, big stretch. Hands to heart, exhale. All right, this time inhale, reach up. And as you exhale, chair plane. So bend your knees, sit low, swing your arms back behind you. So as you swing your arms back, you're not rounding and looking down at the ground, but you're in a cobra pose with your chest. So heart is lifted and open. Maybe gaze slightly forward, nice die. See if you can feel your back muscles squeeze around your spine. Sometimes it helps me if I bend my elbows and try to squeeze my elbows closer together behind my back. You can stay here or option for a balance challenge. Float up to your tiptoes. If you float it up to your tiptoes, here's just a little bit of play if you want it. See if you can straighten your legs and take your head towards the ground. Drinking bird. Take one more round wherever you're at. You're just being playful if you're balancing. And then inhale, high mountain. You can set your heels down or you can stay on your tiptoes. It's up to you. Exhale, if you're on your tiptoes, maybe you stay there as you swan dive down. Yes, awesome, you guys. Breathe in, heels on the ground, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, feet to the back of your mat. Take your vinyasa however you would like. Add or subtract whatever you want, and we'll see you back in down dog. Big, deep, spacious breaths. All right. From your dog pose, next inhale, take your right leg to the sky. If you want, you can open your hip or roll out your ankle, even circle your right knee or your right leg. But then eventually in your next couple breaths, square off your hips. So eventually your inner thighs face one another. Your right hip faces down slightly back. See if you can feel your connection to center, that lift coming from your belly button. Press down through your fingers, press up and back with your right foot. Make your right leg really strong and powerful. So if I were to come over, try to press your leg down, it wouldn't even move, it's so strong. Take one more big inhale here. Beautiful, nice, Christine. Exhale, right knee to your nose, so round your spine, hollow out your belly. Stay here, breathe in, push the ground away. You should be on your back, tippy, tippy toes. Exhale, step forward softly, low lunge. Take a moment and just stretch out your own legs, however you would like. So you can bring your back knee down, you can straighten your front leg, you can open your front hip, just feel around. Doesn't have to be anything too fancy. So if all you wanna do is close your eyes, put your awareness in your legs and simply send your breath there, perfect. In your next couple of rounds, crescent lunge. Rise when you are ready. Nice, die. So in your crescent lunge, 
The stability comes by pulling your front hip back, back hip forward. So you're hugging towards midline. As you hug towards midline with your legs, your lowest, deepest abdominals engage. So you should feel length and support in your low back. Lift your heart, maybe even lift your gaze. And then feel your body in this pose. Feel your breath. Soften your face. Beautiful. Take one more big inhale. Nice, Jen. As you exhale, hinge forward, reach back. Airplane arms, heart slightly lifted. So just like when we were in our chair plane, you're not rounding and looking down. You're arching and looking slightly forward. Back muscles squeeze around your spine. As you're ready, press into your front foot. Oh, your back foot off the ground. Play with your balance. So you're going for a smiley face shape from the top of your head back to your heel. Yeah. Use your back strength to lift your heart. Use your inner thigh strength to lift your back heel. Beautiful. Awesome, Sydney. Take one more round wherever you are at. And end of your exhale back to crescent lunge. See if you can land softly, arms to the sky. Breathe in. Exhale, bring your hands down. Let's take a twist. Left hand stays down, right arm reaches up. So open up through the right side of your heart. Reach up through your right fingertips. Maybe even gaze up at your right fingertips. Legs are strong, especially your back leg. Imagine you're trying to drag your right hip towards the back of the room, but at the same time, your right knee is magnetized to your left armpit. Twist from your center. So breathe down into your belly. Feel it expand with your inhale. And then as you exhale, see if you can work your twist just a little bit deeper. Take one more deep breath. Beautiful. End of your exhale. Unwind. Listen here. Set your back knee down and take your right leg back. You'll be in a three-legged table top. From here, we'll open up into a modified side plank. So pivot on your left knee. Take your right arm to the sky. Yes. Open up through your front body. So rather than sticking your butt out, see if you can press your hips gently forward. If you want to modify, you can take your right foot down at any time. Otherwise, right leg is lifted and right leg is strong. Reach your right arm forward, bicep next to your ear. Work the length in your right side. Perfect place to stay. Final option, if you would like to take it, bend your right knee, reach back, grab hold of your foot. Once you've got your foot, work the pose now with gentle leverage. So kick foot into hand, pull hand back into foot. Rather than kicking your foot up, kick your foot straight back and see if you can rotate your heart to look up. One more huge breath, your fullest expression. Nice, Sophia. Very end of your exhale, slowly unwind, let it go. Hands and knees, tabletop. From hands and knees, take your left leg straight out to the left, toes face directly forward. Take your right arm out to the right, and then all the way up to the sky, breathe in here. As you exhale, thread your right arm through. So reach, 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 and then come down to rest on the outside of your shoulder, outside of your head. If you do not like having your left leg extended out, you can set your left knee down, no big deal. If there's a variation you wanna play with, if there's a way you wanna explore, please feel free. This is your practice, this is your pose. Be in your own body. Listen to your own breath. See if you can really feel your breath in your back body. So upper back, mid back, low back expands every time you breathe in. All the way to emptiness with every exhalation. Take about two or three more here. Soft face, soft forehead, jaw, cheeks. Notice where you tense up and just by noticing, maybe you soften a little bit. If you do happen to have your left hand lifted, set your left hand back on the ground. Next time you inhale, unthread your right arm and reach it all the way up one more time as high as you can. Exhale, set your right hand down. Pick up your left foot, swing your left leg over so your left tiptoes come off the right side of your yoga mat. And then see if you can start with your hips. Pull your hips to the left towards the windows as you gaze back over your right shoulder. 
So I like to bend one or both elbows. Sometimes I even come down to my right forearm. Sometimes I like to peekaboo underneath my right armpit. So feel around. Maybe you rock a little bit forward, rock a little bit back. Take one more big deep breath, stretch through your left side. End of your exhale, tabletop position, and then downward facing dog. You can walk it out for just a moment in your down dog. If you'd like to move through a very quick vinyasa on your own, feel free. Just kind of reset. Nice, Paul. Ujjayi breath. Feel it and hear it as it moves through you. With your next inhale, left leg to the sky. And again, if you want to open your hip at first or explore a little bit of movement through your ankle, take some circles with your knee, feel free. Eventually, square off your hips. So inner thighs face each other. Left hip faces down slightly back. Very nice. Good awareness. Press down through your fingertips. Press up and back with your left foot. See if you can make your left leg so strong that you feel the front of your left thigh, your quad muscle turn on, squeezes. Take one more big inhale, push the ground away, lift from your belly button. Exhale, left knee to your nose, round your spine, hollow out your belly, stay here as you breathe in. See if you can lift higher through your waistline, push the ground away. Exhale, step through softly, nice cam. Take a moment to just move your legs on this side to stretch, to feel around. So it can be exactly what you did on the other side or maybe something totally different. Maybe you don't even remember what you did on the other side. Nice, Chris. And then as you're ready, friends, crescent lunge, rise up, settle in. So yes, there is an element of balance in crescent lunge. We stabilize by hugging towards midline, finding that connection to our center. So energetically, front hip pulls back, back hip pulls forward. You're plugging the femur bones into the hip sockets. Little tone in your lowest, deepest abdominal, your transverse. So as you engage to those low, deep abdominals, your low back gets longer and it feels more supported. Nice, Sydney. Heart is lifted. Puff up through your chest. Proud chest. Reach through your fingertips. Maybe even take your gaze up. Feel your body in this pose. Let your breath flow through. Soften around it. One more big inhale. Exhale. Hinge forward. Reach back. So airplane lunge first. Lift it through your heart. Back muscles squeeze around your spine. See if you can keep your heart lifted. Gaze slightly forward as you float your back foot off the ground. So again, we're going for a smiley face shape from the top of our head back to our heel. If it's helpful, bend your standing leg a little or even a lot. Beautiful. Awesome, Jen. See if you can spread your right toes. Take one more round. Lift your heart just a tiny bit higher. Lift your back heel just a tiny bit higher. End of your exhale, crescent lunge, soft landing. Nice work, breathe in, gaze up. And as you breathe out, hands come down. Breathe, bald lunge. So right hand stays on the ground, left arm to the sky. You can come up to your right fingertips or use a block under your right hand if you like. Twist from your center, so not from your arms or your legs, but right underneath your rib cage. Take a big, huge Buddha belly breath all the way down. And then as you exhale, see if you can pull your belly button away from your front thigh, twist a little further. Beautiful poses. Take one last breath, twist to your edge as you exhale. End of your exhalation, unwind. Back knee comes down and take your left leg back, three-legged tabletop. From here, moving into our modified side plank. So pivot on your right knee, right foot comes to the outside of your mat, left arm reaches up, open up towards the window. Good. And again, rather than sticking your butt out, try to get the flexion out of the front of your hips. So press your hips gently forward, nice bend. Make your back leg strong, powerful. It's like you're karate kicking with your back leg and it got frozen in space. Maybe reach your left arm forward. So work the length from your fingertips all the way back to your heel or your toes. Perfect place to stay. 
Final option, bend your left knee, reach back, grab hold of your foot. Kick and pull, so gentle leverage to work a little bit deeper. Breathe down into your belly wherever you are at. Big, full breaths. Last round. Your fullest expression, whatever that looks like for you today. Beautiful, Chris. End of your exhale. Slow release. Come to hands and knees. Tabletop position. From your tabletop, right leg straight out to the right. Toes face directly forward. Your heel comes straight out from your hip. Left arm out to the left, and then all the way up to the sky. Breathe in. Exhale, thread it through. Reach as far as you can. Come down to rest outside of your shoulder, outside of your head. And then anywhere you want to take it, any exploration. Big, deep back body breath. So feel the expansion of each inhale. In your upper back, mid back, all the way down into your low back. Exhale every time to emptiness, navel to spine connection. Good job. Last couple of rounds, soft face, unclench your jaw. If you do have your right hand lifted, bring your right hand slowly back to the earth. Next time you breathe in, unthread your left arm, reach it all the way up to the sky, open up, and exhale, left hand down. Pick up your right foot, swing your right leg over, so right tip toes off the left side of your yoga mat. Start with your hips, pull them over to the right side. That might mean you bend one or both elbows, gaze back over your left shoulder, look back at your tiptoes. So really lengthen through your right side. You can feel around, rock forward, rock back, little arch or a little rounding. Take one last big breath. And then end of your exhalation, tabletop, hands and knees, back to downward facing dog. All right, great big inhale into your down dog. Hips super high, spine super long. Exhale, gaze to the top of your space, however you want to get there, forward fold. Once you've arrived, halfway lift, breathe in, lots of length. Exhale, let it go, fold. Root through your feet, all the way to stand, rise. Inhale, take your arms up, maybe even gaze up. Hands to heart, exhale. All right, inhale, take your arms up. We're gonna balance on our right leg. So right foot roots down, float your left knee up for standing stack. So find your balance first, hug in with your inner thighs, active through your left toes. Take one more in breath here. And then as you exhale, figure four. So outer left ankle, top of your right thigh. You choose, maybe you wanna take a chair plane, maybe you wanna take a forward fold twist, arm balance. So we'll be in this pose for about five rounds. You can hold and breathe, or you can move around a little bit, explore a little bit. If that means you fall out a million times, that's fine. Meet yourself right there. Keep the flexion in your left toes. Keep actively pressing your outer ankle onto the top of your thigh, like you're cementing them together. Good work, nice job. Good focus, take a couple more rounds. And then let's come back, standing step. If you can, stay balanced on your right foot, reach your arms up, lift your left knee up. If you want, you can even extend your left leg forward. Try not to lean back. Take one more big inhale, exhale, slow motion. We're gonna move through an airplane and then back to a low lunge. So see if you can feel first your airplane pose, maybe a breath or two there, and then land softly in low lunge, left toes to the back of your mat, hands frame your front foot. Everything okay? <laughs> All right, once you've landed in your lunge, set up for warrior two. So pivot your back heel down and then windmill your arms up. Good. Right toes face forward, left toes directly to the left. Rather than sticking your butt out, 
wrap your right butt cheek underneath your body and feel your front knee track towards your pinky toe. Next time you inhale, reverse warrior. Front palm rotates up, reach up, lengthen, and then reach back. As you reach, keep the bend in your front knee. Nice CC. Imagine you're trying to lift your right rib cage up away from your hip. Remember, this is a side body stretch, not a back bend. So your shoulders are still facing towards the windows. Your hips are still open towards the windows. Take one more huge breath. Maybe reach just a tiny bit further. And then end of your exhale, back through your warrior two. Reach forward as far as you can. So reach, 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 reach. When you can't reach anymore, just your arms change. Right hand towards the ground, left arm towards the sky, side angle. You can absolutely stay in your side angle. There's a lot of ways to explore or option to float your back leg off the ground for half moon. Reach your right hand forward, float your left leg up. Feel free to use a block if you've got one. Hips are open, heart is open, shoulders are open. If you wanna take the bind, go for it. Bend your left knee, reach back, grab hold of your left foot. So your pose, wherever you have chosen to be, be there fully, feel whatever there is to feel. Notice whatever there is to notice, slow, deep breaths. Soften your face, unclench your jaw. Take one last round wherever you're at. See if you can land back in a warrior two. So slowly, softly, nice job, back to warrior two. All right, from here, straighten out your front leg, parallel your feet. So all 10 toes face the window, take your arms to the sky. Inhale, and as you exhale, swan dive down, wide-legged forward fold. Anywhere you would like to take this, about five rounds of breath. So you can hang out and hold, or you can play. Maybe headstand, maybe handstand hops, maybe a twist, skandasana. Lots of options, or just stay right where you're at and simply breathe, notice, observe. There's so much going on inside if you really pay attention. Nice, Claire. Big, deep breaths. Just stay with yourself, especially in these moments where I give you time for yourself, rather than wandering off, stay, stay in your body, stay with your breath, be present. Take about two more rounds. So if you're working somewhere, start wrapping it up. Good job. Next time you inhale, halfway lift position, fingertips on the ground, crawl your hands forward, rotate your toes forward. Step your front foot back, plank position. And then this time we're gonna go for a full side plank. Right hand is your base, roll onto the baby toe edge of right foot, left arm to the sky. If you wanna modify, of course, you can bring your right knee down, no big deal. If your bottom knee is not on the ground, lift your hips as high as you can. That'll help take weight out of your shoulder and wrist. Maybe take your left arm forward, bicep next to your ear. Maybe float your left leg up, lift your hips even higher. Awesome, Laura. You wanna take a leg variation, go for it. One more round, your fullest expression today in this moment, feel into it, breathe into it. End of your exhale, slowly plank or modify. Inhale at the top of your push-up, and exhale all the way to your belly. You're gonna stay low, baby cobra. So lift your heart using back strength rather than arm strength. See if you can keep your heart lifted, float your hands up, reach your hands back, float your feet up and reach your toes back. Rather than widening your legs, hug in with your inner thighs like you're squeezing a yoga block. Even imagine you're trying to rotate your inner thighs up towards the ceiling. See if you can find your mid back muscles, your mid back strength. It helps me if I bend my elbows and try to squeeze them towards each other behind my back. Soften your face, unclench your jaw. Take one more huge breath and see if you can float just a tiny bit higher. Nice, Cam. End of your exhale, let it go. Oh. You can hang out right here on your belly if it feels good. Or if you'd like, child's pose, 
maybe a couple of rounds of cat cow or some hip circles. So let's just say in your next three to five breaths, downward facing dog, whatever you want to do in the meantime. If you've lost track of your breath, bring it back, reconnect. Slow and steady. Maybe a couple open mouth sighs would feel nice. All right. If you're not already there, start your transition back to down dog. Big inhale into your down dog. Exhale, gaze to the top of your yoga mat, step or hop forward, full top of your space. Inhale, lift halfway, lengthen, realign your spine. Exhale, fold, bow. Root through your feet, take it all the way to stand. Arms reach up, full body stretch. And hands to heart, exhale. All right, inhale, arms reach. This time we'll balance on our left foot. So all of the weight comes into your left foot, right knee floats up for standing stack. Take a moment to find your balance, focus your gaze, hug in with your inner thighs, engage through your lowest, deepest abdominals. One more big inhale, flex through your right toes. Exhale, figure four. So outer right ankle, top of left thigh. You choose where you wanna take this. Chair plane, twist. Fold, arm balance. If you fall in and out, perfectly fine. That means you've met an edge. That's a good thing. Meet yourself there. Just be compassionate. Be kind to yourself. This is just a practice. It's not a performance. Nobody cares what you look like except for you. A couple more rounds. Flex your right toes. What that does, it keeps all the little tendons and ligaments locked in place so you're not pulling on your ankle or your knee. And let's see if we can slowly come back to standing staff. Stay balanced on your left foot if possible. So reach up, lift your right knee up, maybe even extend your right leg forward. One more big inhale, slow motion through airplane pose. So right leg, eventually extends back, arms reach back. Go for that smiley face shape, hit the pose and take at least one breath. And then when you're ready, soft landing, low lunge, hands to the ground, right toes to the back of your mat. Once you've arrived, set up your warrior two stance. So pivot your back heel down, cartwheel your arms up. Good, left toes directly forward, right toes directly to the right. Wrap your left butt cheek underneath you and track your left knee towards your pinky toe. Next, inhale, reverse your warrior. So front palm rotates up, reach up, reach back. Lengthen through your left side. Keep that deep bend in your left knee. Lift your left rib cage up away from your left hip. Side body stretch, not a back bend. So navel to spine connection. Breathe into your left waistline, create more space there. Reach through your fingertips, one last round. End of your exhale, come through your warrior two. Reach forward, see if you can even feel your ribs slide forward. Reach, reach, reach as far as you can. Then tip it over, just your arms change. Left hand towards the ground, right arm towards the sky. So your inside angle, you can stay here, explore any variation you want, or Transition into a half moon, balancing pose. So left hand reaches forward as your back leg floats up. Keep your hips open, keep your heart open, shoulders open. If you wanna move into the bind, Ardha Chandra Chapasana, bend your back knee, your right knee, reach back and grab hold. Yeah, maybe you wanna play with your balance. Maybe you wanna hover your left hand above the ground. So make this pose your own. Be there fully. What is there to notice? Back leg strong, last big breath, wherever you have chosen to be. 
See if you can land in a warrior two again softly. Nice job. All right, once you've landed, straighten your front leg, parallel your feet, take your arms to the sky, inhale. And exhale, take your swan dive down, wide-legged forward fold anywhere you want to take it. So maybe you want to interlace your fingers behind your back. Maybe you want to bend one knee and then the other. Sometimes I like to grab hold of the outer edges of my feet and use that as gentle leverage to work my fold. Sometimes I like to walk my hands way forward, almost like I'm in a really, really wide-legged down dog. So feel around, what is there to notice? How can you get more for yourself out of this posture? Can you breathe bigger, breathe deeper? Thanks, Paul. Soft through your face, unclench your jaw. I'll remind you over and over again, we always seem to clench our jaw when we're focusing. Can you be focused, but still soft, still playful? Take your last couple rounds. Open mouth exhales if you want. Ah. Next time you breathe in, find your halfway lift position, fingertips on the ground. Rotate your toes forward or crawl your hands forward as you rotate your toes forward and then step your front foot back, plank pose. From plank, full side plank, Vashistasana, left hand is your base. Roll onto the baby toe edge of your left foot. He can be stacked or staggered, whatever feels best for you. Make your feet active. So it's like you're karate chopping the ground with the outer edge of your left foot. Lift your hips higher if you can. Maybe reach your right arm forward, bicep next to your ear. Maybe even float your right leg up. Don't just throw it up there, but intentionally lift. As you lift it up, your hips lift even higher. If you wanna play with a leg variation, go for it. One last breath, strong and powerful. End of your exhale, slowly come back to a plank or a modified plank. Take an inhale at the top to prepare, push the ground away, and then strong arm, strong belly all the way down. Again, stay low, start with your baby cobra. Keep your heart lifted just as high. Float your hands up, reach your hands back. Float your feet up, reach your toes back. So we're back in locust pose. This time you can stay here, or if you want, your options are either interlace your fingers or bend both knees, reach back, grab your feet or your ankles for bow pose. Once you've got your feet, kick and pull. So use that as your gentle leverage. Everybody hug in with your inner thighs. Once you widen your legs, you crunch up in your low back. So keep the length in your low spine. Wherever you are at, be there fully. Breathe into every little space. One last huge inhale. See if you naturally flow just a little higher. And exhale, let it go. Ah, good job. Next three to five rounds, downward facing dog. So whatever you wanna do in between, it might feel nice to windshield wiper your shins or even just shimmy your hips a bit. Yeah, you can move through your own vinyasa. You can take some cat cows, child's pose, eventually downward facing dog. Ujjayi breath, keep it strong, steady, powerful. All right, if you're not back in down dog, start transitioning. From your dog pose, inhale your right leg to the sky. Open up through your right hip this time. So peel your right hip open. Try not to collapse through your left shoulder and see if you can stay rooted through both hands, all 10 fingertips. Maybe lift your right knee just a tiny bit higher. Take one more inhale. Exhale, right knee, left elbow or as close as you can come. Inhale, back up, three-legged dog. You can scorpion your leg if you want to. 
Exhale, right to right. Aim for your armpit. So as high as you can get on your arm, maybe even add a little push up, bend your elbows, don't let your butt drop. Inhale back up, three-legged. And then last one, knee to your nose, scoop out your belly and step all the way through low lunge. All right, from your low lunge, root into your front foot. This is a big movement, all the way up to standing step. Arms to the sky, left knee lifts. You can extend your left leg if you want. You're gonna go back and forth through those two poses. So as you exhale, back to low lunge, see if you can touch your fingers and toes down at the exact same time. Keep going at your own pace. A few more rounds up and down with your own breath. You can add a little bit. So extending your leg in standing staff will make it a little more challenging. Maybe as you transition back, you pause in a warrior three or pause in an airplane pose. So feel free to get a little bit creative. You want the heat to build in your right leg, especially your right hip. So if you're feeling tired in your right leg, that's a good thing. We're just about to stretch it out. Take about two more rounds, slow, intentional movement. Good, nice bend. All right, one more or finish the round you're on. We'll meet back in that low lunge position. So eventually hands frame your front foot. From low lunge, we're gonna take it back to a three-legged dog, right leg to the sky. And then when you are ready, so if you wanna open your hip or anything at all, feel free. When you're ready, pigeon pose, right shin to the top of your mat, set your body down gently. So pigeon, make sure you're finding the integrity of the pose first, the structure, the strength. So pull your front hip back, back hip forward, plug the femur bones into the hip sockets. Keep pulling your right hip back as you take your heart forward and down. About five to seven breaths. Soften where you can soften. Open mouth size at any time, about two or three more rounds. Ah. End of your next exhale, slowly lift your upper body. We're going to come into a seated position. So just nice and easy, let your hips open, sit onto your right butt cheek, swing your left leg around. Take both legs out in front of you for a moment, give them a little shake out. And then right knee bends, right foot on the ground. Bring your right foot to the outside of your left thigh. Left leg can stay extended, or if you want, you can bend your left knee, left heel towards your right butt cheek. Make sure both sit bones can stay rooted down if you take that variation. Grab hold of your right knee and hug in. Get as tall as you can. So puff up through your chest, through your heart. Inhale, take your right arm up. And as you exhale, twist to your right, bring your right hand down behind you or just your right fingertips are perfectly fine as well. So not a ton of weight in your back hand. You might gaze over your right shoulder. Your left hand can stay where it's at. Use it as gentle leverage. Or if you like to latch your left elbow to the outside of your right knee, feel free. If there's a bind you like to take, feel free. As tall as you can grow through your spine, draw up through the crown of your head, broaden through your shoulders and your collarbones. Breathe down into your belly. And as you exhale, twist a little bit deeper from the inside out. Two more rounds.
Good job. End of your next exhale, take it all the way to empty and then unwind your upper body. So just your upper body unwinds, hands over to the left side of your mat and then little bow, it's just a nice counter twist. Your right butt cheek can lift up, breathe down into your low back, should feel good. I even like to push into the ground sometimes and kind of twist towards the back of the room, take it a little bit deeper. Take one more deep breath. All right, come back up. Now this is just for funsies. If you have your left knee bent, straighten your left leg again. We're gonna play with an arm balance. So from here, your right hand reaches down to grab your left foot. If you can't grab your foot, you can grab your ankle, even just your shin. Left hand comes off the left side of your mat. It has to happen simultaneously. So I'm simultaneously going to take chaturanga with my left arm, step on my right foot and uh, reach my butt back behind me. So it looks like this. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Good job. Once you've had enough, how we doing? Yes, no, maybe so. <laughs> Good job. Uncross your legs, give them a little shake out. And then however you want to find your way back to down dog, find your way back to down dog. Maybe you want to boat pose for a couple breaths, then cross your ankles, rock forward. However you want to get there. Yeah, maybe move through a vinyasa or skip it up to you. Once you're back in your down dog, walk it out. Any little movement that would feel good. All right, inhale, take your left leg high. Peel your left hip open, bend your knee. Try not to collapse through your right shoulder. Keep both hands rooted, strong. Press through your fingertips. One more in breath, so you can lift your left knee a tiny bit higher. Exhale, left knee, right elbow. Push the ground away as you come forward. Inhale, back up, three-legged. Open your hip if you want. Exhale, left to left. So aim as high as you can on your left arm. Push the ground away. Add the push up if you want. Nice self. Inhale, back up. And then last one. Knee to your nose. Scoop out your belly. Then step through softly. All right. That big movement up to our standing staff. Root into your left foot. Right knee lifts. Or maybe you extend your right leg. And then take it back slowly and intentionally. Moving at your own pace with your own breath. Challenge yourself to get your fingers and toes to touch at the exact same time. Yeah. So really pressing into your left foot as you rise, staying connected to your center as you take it back down. If you want to add, add a warrior three, add an airplane pose, extend your right leg at the top. Make it a little more challenging for yourself if you want. So back and forth with your breath. Good. How smooth can you make this transition? How connected to your center can you be? Feel the heat start to build in your left leg, your left hips, and your breath there. Two or three more rounds. Staying focused and alert, but calm and relaxed all at the same time. Yes, nice, Chris. Beautiful awareness, you guys. Nice, Paul. Good, Cam. Take one more round. End up in your low lunge position. From low lunge. Left leg back and up, three-legged dog. If it would feel good to open your hip or roll out your ankle, any little movement, feel free. When you're ready, pigeon pose. Left shin to the top of your space. Set your body down gently. So left knee should be towards the outer left edge, the long left edge of your mat. Pull your left hip back, right hip forward. So rather than trying to push your hips towards the ground, find that little bit of lift, that hugging in towards midline, the strength and the structure. Then start your bow forward. Good job. Big, deep breaths. Thank you. 
Send your breath all the way down into your low back and your hips. See if you can stay here, even if you're uncomfortable, even if there's a lot of sensation, can you just be with it? Breathe into it, soften around it. Good, everyone. Three more rounds. Big, spacious breaths. Open mouth exhales at any time. Ah. And one last huge inhale, fill up as big as you can. Side out your mouth. Ah. Start to lift your upper body. And ease your way over onto your left butt cheek, let your hips open. Swing your right leg around. Coming into a seated position, both legs out in front of you for just a second. Give them a little shake out. And then bend your left knee, sole of your left foot to the ground. Bring your left foot to the outside of your right thigh. So your legs are now crossed. Right leg can stay extended. Flex your toes. Toes stay straight up. Or bend your right knee. Heel towards your left butt cheek. Make sure both sit bones can stay rooted down if you take that variation. Hug your left knee and get as tall as you can. Pump up through your heart. Pull your shoulders down and back. Take your left arm up, breathe in, lengthen, reach, reach, reach as high as you can. Keep that length as you exhale, twist to your left. Left hand comes down behind you. You can leave your right hand where it's at, use it as gentle leverage, or if right elbow to the outside of your left knee is available to you and you want to go there, if a bind is available to you, you want to take it, go for it. Try not to put too much weight on your back hand. So you're not leaning back, you're just using your back arm for a little more support so you can lengthen more so you can sit up taller broaden through the front of your shoulders through your collarbones breathe down into your low belly low back and as you exhale work your twist from the inside take about two more rounds End of your second exhalation, all the way to empty and then slowly unwind just your upper body for now. Hands over to the right side of your mat and then take your little bow, that nice little counter twist. Your left butt cheek can lift up, your back can round. Breathe down into your low back, maybe even push the ground away. Take one more huge breath, should feel good. End of your exhale, lift back up, keep your legs the same. If you have your right knee bent, extend your right leg forward now. Okay, baby grasshopper pose. Right hand off the right side of your mat. Left hand reaches down to grab your right foot. Your arm is in front of your left knee. Yeah, good. Simultaneously, we're gonna chaturanga with our right arm, step on our left foot and reach our butt back towards the window. So when you are ready, all those things happen at the same time. Keep your right shoulder really strong. Yeah, good, awesome, you guys. Beautiful baby grasshoppers. When you've had enough, you can let it go. Uncross your legs, give them a nice little shake out. Couple rounds of windshield wipers. So feet on the ground with your knees bent, feet nice and wide, side to side, couple times. Really work your top knee forward and down. See if you can touch the ground with your top knee. Little flexion in your toes. I like to take my shoulders in the opposite direction as my knees. This is one of the most therapeutic movements if you go slow and pay attention. All right, as you're ready, just come back to center all the way down onto your back. 
Once you are on your back, give yourself a full body stretch. So arms long, legs long, pull yourself apart. Great big inhale. If your ribs lift a lot, see if you can press down through your back ribs even just a little bit. Exhale, draw your knees in. Take a little rock from side to side. Give your low back a nice little massage. Set up for bridge pose. So one last heart opener. If you if wheel upward facing bow, a full back bend is in your practice. You want to take that instead. That's fine with me. But I'll cue for bridge. So feet on the ground, knees bent. Feet hips with distance apart, and your heels should come straight down from your knees, not in front of your knees. Arms down by your sides. As you're ready, you can pull your belly button down, scoop your tailbone up, and then peel your spine off your mat. Take about five breaths in your variation of bridge. So if you wanna work your shoulders underneath you, interlace your fingers, you wanna take robot arms, bend your elbows, palms face each other, fingertips face the sky, hug in with your inner thighs, especially root down through your heels and the inner edges of your feet. Breathe down into your belly. You should be able to see your belly expand and contract. Awesome, you guys. Beautiful poses. After you've taken about five rounds of breath, slowly, one vertebra at a time, ease your way back down. Take a few rounds of windshield wiper on your back, just like we did sitting up, but now you're laying down. You can tee out your arms or cactus your arms side to side. Make sure your feet are wider than your hips. And what that does is opens up your low back. So you're not crunching your low back as you move from side to side. Next time your knees fall to the right, keep them there. And if you want, you can bring the outer edge of your right foot to the outside of your left knee. Use your right foot to encourage your left knee a little bit further forward and down. If your left ribs lift a lot, that's okay. But have the intention of pressing down through the back of your left ribs. Just let the ground hold you now. Give all of your weight to the ground. Let yourself just melt. After about three or four breaths on this side, switch to the other side. Feel into that length from your right shoulder all the way down to your right knee. When you feel pretty much even on both sides, Come back to center, happy baby pose. You can rock it out in your happy baby. You can extend one leg and then the other, both at the same time. Eventually start your transition into your final relaxation. So if there are any more little movements or stretches you wanna to take to get there, feel free. Corpse pose or any other position that will allow you to just fully relax and soften and let go. And as you settle in my reading for you today, 
This is by Jeff Brown. He says, you are the sign you have been waiting for. It's not in the stars, nor is it at the heart of everything synchronistic. It's not stamped on the forehead of your beloved, nor is it lingering on the tip of the guru's tongue. It's not in the numerology or the astrology or floating on the wings of your angel guides. It's already here. It's you, that you exist at all with all the odds that were stacked against your incarnation is evidence of your significance. So are all the gifts, callings, and offerings that course through your veins. You are a signpost of miracle and wonder. It serves the shame powers that be if you look for signs outside yourself, but you won't find them there. You will find them in your own bones, right at the heart of your own lived experience. After you clear the blinding clutter, you will realize that it was you all along. You are the sign that leads you home. Take a deep breath in and let it go. Start to wiggle through fingers and toes. Bring gentle movement back into your body. As you're ready, roll to either side, fetal position. Give yourself just a moment to rest there. 
let your practice really soak in and settle. Use the strength of your arms to guide yourself up into seated meditation. So ending right where we began, sit up nice and tall, close your eyes, gather your hands to your heart. Just bow your head to your heart, acknowledge yourself for showing up today, taking the time to do your practice, to tune into your body, to your breath and a deeper part of yourself. Thank you so, so much for letting me guide you. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you, Sumis. Hi, Sarah. Bye, Lisa. Thanks for coming. <laughs>